All right, all right. So the game animation sample project is finally released. And this is a thing that we were expecting and hoping for uh, since the 5.4 preview was announced and released. And it is exactly what they have previewed all this long. It is really, really good. The movements are very well achieved and the foot positioning it is almost flawless without any sort of foot sliding or anything like that. So it seems like is, you know, a new revolution, a new way of creating your game characters and all. Let's check out a little bit over here because it does have a way of you changing your character. As soon as you step on this game animation widget, the game animation widget window will appear. And as you can see, you have a way of choosing um, an assorted gamma of different characters, right? We have Echo, we have a Paragon character, and we have a metahuman. And yeah, it, it is, this is how it works, right? This is how you can change your characters at least on the fly, right? So uh, let's see how we can add a new character. So having this Paragon character right here gave me the idea of adding a Paragon uh, character. And I happen to have the Countess. The Countess, I just added it to the project. And inside the Paragon Countess uh, character hero um, Countess meshes is where we're going to find the original mesh, right, for um, the Countess Paragon character. So what do we need to do to actually make her compatible with this? Well, it's pretty, pretty easy. The first thing that we need to do is let's go back here to content characters and we're going to have the actual Paragon character, heroes, twin blast, rigs. And here it is. We have everything that we need to do the exact same IK retarget, right? From a Paragon character. These should be fine for all the biped uh, Paragon characters, at least most of them. Um, so let's go and take these two and let's go to our Paragon Countess folder and I'm going to drag that, paste it on our Paragon Countess uh, folder right here. I'm going to set a copy. So I want that one to still be working and I'm going to be renaming Countess IK Retarget and this is going to be the Countess Retargeter just like that and once that is done you're going to be able to open up this one right here double click on that and this is just because of the compatibility of the different paragon characters that happen to be biped so let's scrap these let's search for the countess here she is right she's going to be there i'm going to save this close it and then we're going to do the same but with the actual retargeter and here we're going to be selecting the IK retargeter for the Countess. And here she is. That is good. If you want to check out if that is working, you can see it right here. It's fairly easy. We're just swapping characters, right? And the fine thing about the character motion for, for this project is that that's all you need to do. Now, there is one last thing. If we open in widget and we go to the game animation widget, you're gonna find something like this. And these are connected to these CBP, all right? And let's search where those are. And this is it. I'm going to grab the one for our car uh, Paragon character. So we're going to duplicate and we're gonna name it Countess. This is the one that we just created. And all we need to do is go down here where it says Mesh Twin Blast. We're going to be renaming these to Countess just to keep everything pretty well tied up. And in the Skeletal Mesh, we're going to assign the uh, Countess Skeleton Mesh. And that's it. We're going to compile, save. Lastly, uh, we're going back to our animation, animation widget, the game animation widget, and we're going to duplicate this last entry, Control D, and that will create a new button for us to click and here we're going to assign the new cbp file and here it is our um, sandbox character contest let's compile save close close and then next time we play if we go to our uh, game animation anima animation widget and it open up apart from changing to you know the all um mannequin and all that stuff we are going to be able to pick our um, 
Countess Paragon character. And it works exactly as well as the rest of the animations. The funny thing is that you won't need to actually perform any sort of retargeting. Um, it's going to be right off the bat just by assigning and creating the IK retargeter and the IK uh, retarget of files and assets. And that's it. And that is how you're going to be able to have your contest in your new um, animation sample, game animation sample. All right. So that's it. And um, I see you on the next time. Bye-bye.